<laughs> All right, now, um, like you know, this is Ojora Baba today of OJB Sports, and yeah, this is Omar Katuba of um, Omar Sports TV. Very nice guy, you know. When I started this, I can't write Omar's, I can't erase his, um, you know, his everything is done for me to get to this place. Top, top guy. So now, Omar, let's come back to you. Tell me. How was it covering your own first AFCON? Like me, I'm covering yeah. mine now. You've been doing this for quite a while. It was a great experience. I was 23 years old. My first African Nations Cup was in Egypt in 2006. Coincidentally, Austin Eguavoin was also the coach of Nigeria at that time. Um, I was working with late Felix Okube of his gentle so rest in peace. Uh, then we were working together on Mundia Sports. So when he told me that there's an opportunity to go to the AFCON in Egypt, that he was going to help me get the visa, he was going to help me get accredited, but he would not fund my trip to Egypt. I was just 23 years old. I was earning 15,000 Naira. <laughs> 15,000 Naira. I was, I was living in Ikorodu. Our studio was in Songota from one end of Lagos to another end for 15,000 but what was pushing me was the passion so I said to him I'll be glad just get me the visa get me the accreditation I'll find my way to Egypt visa came accreditation came the tournament was two weeks away I had no idea where to get my money for ticket so I went to Ghana to meet my elder brother Theophilus Akatuba who I want to use this opportunity to thank for his role in everything that I have achieved today how he gave me the opportunity to be on TV, how he encouraged me from talking football in the hood to talking football on television. I give him all of the credit. So I went to Ghana. He was living in Ghana then. And I said to him that I wanted to go to Egypt. I had no money. As at that time, the ticket was about 140,000 Naira. It was, it was quite difficult for him, but he didn't tell me. I would wake up in the morning and follow him to the office, sit down in the office. He was trying to get me a ticket to fly from Ghana. Ticket in Ghana was much more expensive. Somehow, somehow, I found a way to buy the ticket from Nigeria. So he got a ticket in Nigeria. I ran back to Nigeria. I got to Lagos. My flight was on that day. My bag was at the airport. Ticket was waiting for me at the airport. I rushed to the airport, got on the plane, and I was going to my first African Nations Cup. And also, coincidentally, my first trip out of Nigeria. It was a dream come what true. You in Ghana? Uh, well, okay. okay. Let's say my first trip by plane. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, there's a feeling that is, there's a different feeling when you go to Egypt and when you go to Ghana as a Nigerian. So I got on the plane. I got to Egypt. Wow! It was like I was in Europe. And Nigeria was in Port Said. What a beautiful atmosphere. Beautiful, you know, city. And I was, like they say, I was chilling with the big boys, the Obafemi Martins of this world, the Julius Agawa of this world, the Joseph Enakairo of this world. It was the first time in my life I was so close to big superstar players. I would go to their rooms, I would interview them. It was a dream come true. And now this is what was a shocker for me. My first tournament as a young person, I didn't know about the culture of brown envelopes, so to say. <laughs> I didn't know that players give journalists money. I had no idea, you know, so I was just doing my thing. I was excited to even have opportunity to interview these players. So one day, Obama and Martins came to me and said, ah, you know they beg money, sir. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, no, I know Sabi beg money. I know they don't train me like that. The person who trained me, Felix Okugbe, doesn't do that, and I will never do that. I'm not trained that way. And he gave me $500, bro. I was shocked. I landed in Egypt with $50, $50 US dollars. I, I mean, I didn't ask any player for money, but they were so nice to me. Seeing a young guy at 23 covering the African Nations Cup, Agawa was so nice to me. Joseph Enakaere, Christian Obodo, Peter Victor Obina on so for, you know. And I left Egypt with about $2,000. It was a great experience, and that was how my entire career took a, a, a dive from level 1 to level 10. So far.